Right, the bulkhead. It's time to uh, to make a framework and uh, put a shelf in there. So let's go and have a look, is it? Right, guys. What I'm thinking is, I need a shave. It's been a long week, a long hard week. So what I'm thinking is, I'm going to use this point as a starting point because obviously it's uh, it's really secure. I'm going to come off that point there then with timber, work my way around. I don't really know about the six ins yet because uh, it's, it's, it's like a quite hard plastic, thick plastic, so I'm just wondering if, um, if dry wall screws will just drive through. I've been thinking about the frame and what I'm thinking is with, with the fix ins, if I oversize the, uh, the timber slightly, obviously then that, that timber is going to be pushing out on either side. Which should push this timber in then with the actual uh, drywall fixings. I don't know if it's going to work. Just putting drywall through into this plastic, but uh, we'll have a go and we'll see see what it does. <laughs> right, let's have a little go. Cut this bit of timber roughly to the uh, to the shape of the the headline in there. I think uh, definitely um, keeping it simple is the best idea. So uh, what I'm going to do is, is this point here. It's important. It's the uh, I saw you the light in rubbish. This point here. This is our anchor. Not an anchor point, but this is the point that's going to support the actual shelf. So I'm going to drop the timber down onto that point there. That's cut out there now, so that sits nice and fresh on the on this uh, this grey lining. I'm, I'm thinking I'm even going to put a bolt through this this end here because I can uh, get access to it. One or two dry walls then across, and like I said before, hopefully brace the timber, cut it oversized, going across, so then that timber will actually push and hold everything in place. Okay, sorry about the light. It is getting uh, a bit dusk and it's getting a bit late. Them screws running lovely. Really easy. So now that this timber now is sat on uh, on this piece on this bolt here, so I can't go down anywhere. The screws running lovely. I'm going to bolt this here. And what you can't see around the back is that I can get to the back. So I'm going to put uh, two wall plugs on the back of these uh, these two screws here, just to secure these screws. I'm going to cut another one now, exactly the same. I'm just going to brace then a piece of, imagine a piece of timber right the way along. I'm just going to brace that timber then off there onto the piece across. Secure that timber. And that's just going to be it really, that's just going to be the frame. I can't go anywhere, I can't go down because it's resting on here. It's going to be bolted there. I've still got access to this, this bolt here if I need to in the future. Keep it simple, very simple. Right, hello, welcome back. It's a new day. It's a sunny day out there. It's been a long day, a long hot day for plastering anyway. Right, let's just show you what we've been up to. Right, last night was total darkness. What I did finish up doing, that's all i done is just put the two screws through the timber. And the same on the other side. Like I said, we've come down onto this point here. But uh, also what Beck and I have just done, Excel the pliers and with a wall plug in and we've unscrewed the screw and then screwed back through into the wall plug. Bit of a backwards way of doing it, but it's now solid. So I'm just gonna brace the timber now.
two timbers, one at the back there, right the way across, one at the front, one at the way across, and that's going to be our base. Go <laughs> on. No. What's on there? What's on the card, bro? Well, you can see it. We're infested with uh, flying ants. Right, anyway, we've built this solid, rock solid. You see it better over there now with the wall plugs. And what we've done, we're going to put a piece of ply underneath now, right the way through. Up underneath there, we've done this so uh, Bex had the idea we're going to put baskets in each section so then they, uh, they can't fall about when we're on the road. There we are, it's quite simple, really simple, it's quite effective, solid. So now we're going to cut out this uh, piece of card now to go underneath and make a template for the play. Everybody, the sun has just gone down. What we did is cut a piece of uh, card which we uh, we had off the uh, the box off the awning. Made a template. It's pretty good now all the way around. Put some extra pieces of card there to get the curve absolutely perfect. Hello, right. Last night we finished up just doing the uh, the template for the frame, and that was all cut out, nice, perfect. So today I took the template and some play into work, and I was a busy boy in my dinner an hour, dinner an half hour. Took the template in, and I cut that out, cut it, sanded it, tried it, it all fits. Uh, back once this sanded and painted, you know you're never going to see it. What if somebody opens a cupboard? She said. I think if somebody walks into the van and opens a cupboard, I can tell them, oh, you nosy. But anyway, I got to sand it. I got to paint it. There's no, no, no point arguing. She is the boss. So let's take it all back down, sand it, paint it, put it all back up, and then you guys can see it. Thanks, Ben. Right. This frame, which I've got to paint, 
and sand. So I'm going to quick sand with this. Quick spray with that. And then it's going back in there. Yes, thank you. <laughs> She's gonna go weak because I'm sprayed the, the back, but you're never gonna see that anyway. <laughs> right, I don't know, but mm -mm, sky's not looking too good. It's rather black, it's gone dark. It's nice and quiet. Right, I'm not taking these out. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to uh, give those a light sand in, just to take all the rough bits off. And then I'm going to uh, stain them. snappy now starting to lose the light frames done <laughs> she's gonna go weak because our side isn't done but that's okay isn't it you're only gonna see it from that side <laughs> right while that frame was up I um, I marked the pencil line exactly where the frame is so I can drill the holes now ready for the screws I know exactly where I'm drilling I've also uh, stained the timbers. They do look quite nice. Right, drill this. Hopefully, by the time I've drilled this, the uh, the, the frame frame is dry. We can screw it all together. If the light is fading fast, I'm going to try and get this done uh, before Beck gets home. I'm just going to put it up for tonight because uh, I'm thinking about staining the uh, the actual piece of play, so I may take it back down tomorrow and stain it. So let's get this up before she gets home. Sun's out, it's beautiful. Blue sky everywhere. There are one or two uh, black clouds in the distance. I know if I set everything up and got the ladder out, I'd take one step on that roof and that black cloud will come over on purpose and it'll absolutely I'll get wet. So I'm gonna bite the bullet now to finish this uh, this shelf off. At least that's completely finished then and I won't have to go back to it. Um, if you're wondering uh, about the mark on the head, some idiot built a shelf and put it in the van. And I didn't see it. Right. Let's get this done. But it's killing me because the sun has come out now and I really need to get that solar panel on the roof. Because then I can finish the ceiling inside. I'm just going to stick to this. 
Escaletano. Stuff I just used, I gotta be honest, I wouldn't put it on my dog kennel. It's really, really hard to work in, patchy. There we are, it's done now anyway. Right. It's time to put some detail on it. Hello. Right, what I've done quickly, because I wasn't happy at all with our stain, I've just uh, sanded roughly sanded different areas just to give it a bit of uh, I don't know really what but it was it was shocking right time to play with a new machine this is the uh, first time for me to use this uh, machine so uh, hopefully it'll go okay otherwise uh, <laughs> this is just going to be another template for me to make another one <laughs> I've just added the uh, love piece and uh, we've added Reese. So next time you uh, you see this now it's going to be uh, underneath the bulkhead, the shelf and the van. What I've done is sanded all around this area here. So it gives it uh, a bit of a sky. There we are. Right, I'm going to end this video here because uh, it's been a very long video. Right, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. And Beck and I will see you soon. Thank you very much. Dio.